Hello and welcome. So this is Lloyd Penfold, engineer at the Withall Transport Museum, or the Transport Museum Withall, I should say, and this is a gearbox that you are putting back to rights, Lloyd. That, that is, is being rebuilt, yes. This is a 1927 gearbox from a bus. OK. Uh, and most gearboxes work under the same system whereby numbers of teeth on a gear mesh with gears with other numbers of teeth, which gives you a ratio. Okay. In this case, doing what you would have done with the gear lever, putting into first, you can see that the small gear turns a lot more times than the big gear. Indeed. This is first gear. Okay, so that means that you've got relatively few revolutions of the um, output of the output shaft compared to the, to the input, and which one's the input and which one's the output? Input is the missing one here, yep. which then just drives this, which is a lay shaft. Okay, that's the output to the prop shaft and the back axle. I see, and turning the road wheels right. Although the speed is slower, the power is increased because it's like the principle of levers you've it's, got. It's then. like yeah. levers, that's right. Now, if we come out of first gear. So you're doing with both hands what you would do with the gear lever. What you do with the gear lever. You then go into second gear. And as you can see, the driving gear is bigger than for first. Yep. And the driven gear is smaller than for first. Right. So you're getting a faster output speed and slightly less power. Right. You don't need as much power once the vehicle is moving. Okay, because it's got its own momentum. That's right. Having built up to speed in second gear, you then go for third. And again you can see the driving gear is bigger again. The driven gear is smaller. Right. So the two shafts are rotating at not very dissimilar speed. Not very dissimilar speed. When you want top gear, and in most bus gearboxes that's fourth, is it? It's fourth, yeah, so, same as in most, most cars. The bit that it engages with isn't here, it's away being repaired. But it's effectively another set of teeth like this that mesh together right. and gives you a direct same speed drive between the engine in and the out to the I see. Right. To the gears. To the back axle. And if you've got a five speed car or a six speed car, do you, you actually have more than a one to one ratio? You, you have more than, than a one to one where this is bigger still yeah. and that's smaller still. Right. So the output speed is more than the input speed. Right. And again, you've got less power, but you don't need it when you're motoring. You will notice that when you go up a hill in top or fifth or sixth if you've got it you have to change down because there's not enough power to keep it going right but in a low gear you can go up the steepest hill right okay okay very good the only other gear in this box is reverse so you introduce one additional cog do you so you introduce one that's down in here which I can just about see, yeah. can just about see. That connects second driving gear to first driven gear. Thus, if I can get it to mesh. Yeah, it looks like it's together. That's it. So that the input, which will be this way. Yep turns the lay shaft the opposite direction but now your output is going at the other direction to engine rotation right, right. so the vehicle will go backwards right excellent good shall I end it there I, I think you can